Hi, I'm Kurt Brown from Portside Seafood Restaurant here at WBOC's historic Studio D. You're watching Delmarva Life. And Kurt's got some fresh vegetables, some seafood. Sitting here looking at what we're getting ready to do. You, need, you really need to stick around, you really do. Absolutely. Mm. Well, we continue our trek throughout Delmarva to show you the many cats and dogs in need of a forever home. And there are a lot of them, especially this time of year. A lot of the animal shelters are inundated. Mm -hmm. Ryan Spiros is at the Kent County SPCA in Camden this afternoon. So, Ryan, you got a lot of people, or a lot of animals there looking for a forever home. <laughs> Well, Jimmy and Lisa, we certainly do have a lot of animals. The Kent County SPCA is bursting at the seams with them. And I want to introduce you now to Kevin Usselton, who is the executive director of the Kent County SPCA. You know, I just said you guys are bursting at the seams. Literally, how many animals do you have here in the facility right now? We currently have 325 animals under our care, and that includes everything from rats all the way up to horses. And you like to have around 250, you We said. like to have, be around 250 animals within our facility available for adoption and or looking for their lost owners. So you have a lot of animals you want to find a home for. And with that said, we're going to introduce people to just some of them here today. We have four. First, we have Charlie. Let's bring Charlie on in. Charlie wants to get on TV. So Charlie is a puggle. He's three years old. He was given up by his owners when they had a baby and he was chewing up the toys. We do think the real reason they gave up Charlie is because he has dry eyes and he has to have drops in his eyes every um, t every eight hours so that's probably why they couldn't afford the vet care and so Charlie is a neutered male dog he's looking for a special family who knows his special needs and can give him a loving home for the rest of his life so cute dog and like you said someone who's going to be able to take care of him with his condition and obviously treat him every eight hours like yes. you said all right he's very a great good. family pet he certainly looks like it. all right thank you Charlie okay next we have Melissa we're gonna bring Melissa in here now Melissa is a little difficult to bring in initially tell us why so Melissa was a product of our cruelty investigation and pro and, and subsequent co um, prosecution Melissa is a pitbull beagle cross um, she is very timid because she has not been a regular household pet the staff is working with her to introduce her into being a great household she's about four years old she's been spayed she's up to date on all her vaccines she needs to go to an obedience class to learn how to be socialized um, with lots of people and lots of different animals but she's a great sweet dog so whomever adopts Melissa is going to need to give her some time and obviously training in yes, the process to, have, to be very patient with her but they'll be rewarded a hundred times over all right very good thank you Melissa we're gonna to try to find you a home we'll have her exit stage right there and next we're gonna move on to the cats you guys have a lot of cats we have cotton here tell us about cotton we have 90 cats available for adoption cotton is a 10 year old cat she's a Hemingway cat she has extra toes on her front um, she was a give, given up to us when her owner couldn't care for her anymore so if you're looking for a nice quiet gentle cat cotton is the one for you all right very good thank you cotton another animal we're gonna to try to find a home for and next finally we have freedom tell us about freedom so freedom is a year old Maine Coon mixed cat um, he's a neutered male. He is um, very sweet, very loving, easy to adapt to any kind of household. Most people think that shelter pets have some problem. Freedom is an example of the beautiful animals that are available for adoption every day at the SPCA. So many great animals. All right, Freedom, thank you very much. And they all did so well on TV. Now we should mention, because you have so many animals, you guys are running a special promotion for the month of July. Tell us about it. So for July, in honor of the 4th of July, we're offering our adult pit bulls and our adult cats for $7 and four cents we have a goal of adopting out 100 animals this month during that just for those two breeds which are very prolific in every shelter across America all right so people have several more weeks to come on in seven dollars and four cents if they're looking for a family pet you guys have a lot of great ones here at the shelter yes all right Kevin thank you so much we really appreciate it thank and you. of course if you would like more information on the Kent County SBCA or any of the animals that we introduced you to today go to our website delmarvalite.com and click on the show tab Jimmy and Lisa this is getting harder and harder <laughs> every week because I want to take every dog home, but I can't because my wife won't be too happy with me. But with that said, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't animals. mind having Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Adorable. Oh, my goodness. And speaking of connecting pets to their forever home, we want to tell you about a new feature on our website. Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life has created Pet Connect as a free service to help lost pets get back home for ab ab abandoned pets to find new homes. Now, if you have found or seen a lost animal, if you've lost a pet, if you're interested in giving an abandoned pet a forever home, use Pet Connect and share it with all of those in your social networks. Check it out.
Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, many of us have a favorite salsa, but we're in the kitchen adding one more recipe to your list, fresh crab and corn salsa. But first, we have teamed up with Sussex County Federal Credit Union to help you make better sense of your money. And here's Deb with this week's tip. On behalf of Sussex County Federal Credit Union, I'm Debbie Jewell with this week's Dollars and Cents Tip. It is never too early to teach children the importance of savings. By following four simple tips, you can help your children build responsible spending behaviors that can last a lifetime. First, start small. It's never too early to teach kids about money. Use daily errand activities like going to the supermarket or credit union to teach kids impromptu lessons about budgeting and money. Two, make allowances. A weekly allowance is a good way to teach children about using budgeting and spending responsibly. Encourage children to save a portion of their allowance each week by calculating how much they could save in a month or a year. For example, saving $10 a week in a 1.25% APR Kids Club account will equal more than $482 in one year. Opening a savings account for older children will educate them about making deposits and withdrawals. Three, identify wants versus needs. Explain the difference and the importance between wants and needs to kids. Encourage them to earn and save for something they really want and that is a great way to teach them healthy spending habits and delay gratification. Four, teaching teens. Giving a teenager a prepaid credit card or access to a parent's card is fairly common these days. While this is a convenient way to introduce your teen to the world of credit, it can lead to some startling monthly bills. Set guidelines for their use of the card and explain how credit works. Sit down with your teen each month and go over the monthly checking or credit card statement to show them how fast their charges can add up. This is how to prepare your children to become financially responsible adults. Remember, together we can achieve more.